of the gates. All set. Racing. First of them away express time, lording gathering speed on the inside, coming out running is Vin Rouge. Behind them, June Messiah, Princely Packet, Smart Princess dropped off very quickly. And likewise, further back in the field, Bachelor Boy and Vagabond Boy tailed off. 650 left to run, and express time over on the outside, about a half to three quarters on the well tried lording, who's just keeping it out there on a limb at the moment. One and a half away, Vin Rouge. Back on the fence, Princely Packet as they come around the home corner. Being followed by June Messiah Smart Princess Pointless going back to the other pair Express Time the Mayor led them at the cutaway 350 left to run a length and a half to June Messiah now being popped the big question is lording down on the inside extending and wider out Smart Princess Express Time though June Messiah together lording taking a day June Messiah had hit the front from Express Time Smart Princess June Messiah is doing better than them and June Messiah beat home Express Time third Smart Princess Lording was very plain over on the fence, just battled. Then Princely Package followed further back by Vagabond Boy Vin Rouge. And a long last is Bachelor Boy. Number two is the winner, June Messiah. Written by Jason Whiting. Number two, June Messiah, making it two wins from four runs this preparation. Lording back on the inside, really just failing to accelerate and uh, unable to respond to the urgings of Romilly and June Messiah was too good got the better of Express Time who was forced to work outside of lording for a good part of the trip Smart Princess she battled home into third placing and lording who was flat to the floorboards back on the inside despite the heavy weight of support June Messiah Verona R.J. Reynolds, a Planet 5 five-year-old from Bonnie Rain, prepared by Gary Crispin, ridden by Jason Whiting, posting its second win. Number four, Express Time, is second. The War Chant Mare, first up today out of Even a Star, for Ron Sayers, Santo Waliano, Nev and Carolyn Parnham, along with Bob Pearson, ridden by Brad Parnham for the ND Parnham Stable, and Smart Princess, third home by Smart Missile, from Ephoral, owned by Tina Taylor, Lois Taylor, a and Mrs. MJ Tribe, trained by Jim Taylor, written by Jason Brown. 2451, placings are there. The favourite out of the money, 5878 the time, 3439 the sectional, margins three quarters and one and a quarter. Race four, the Mum Champagne handicap over 1200. The scratching of number seven playing up, leaving us with seven to do battle. It'll be a pay one two race only in the fourth. As we head downstairs, let's go to Brittany Taylor, joining uh, no doubt Gary Crispin down here after this second win in the preparation of June Messiah Brit. He is on strapping duty, so we'll just get a quick word with Gary. I remember when this horse won its maiden, he said that it's his hard work behind the scenes. It's nice when they're able to put a couple wins together, though, isn't it? Yeah, Brett, he's hard work and he's, um, he, he's, he's hard all the time. You know, he's hard at home to do anything with and, uh, you know, he attacks people. And, but, you know, he's, he's paid off by the owner and the owner's put a lot of effort and time into him. Uh, he's had a knee problem, and, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's paid off. Did today's win surprise you, given he was up against some pretty well-credentialed op opposition in the top two in the market? No, I'm not surprised as which leg he's going to put forward today, you know. And if he feels that leg, he still lays in a little bit, laid in a bit today. It worried me a bit, but uh, he got the job done. All right, let you go strap. Well done. Thank you. Gary Crispin heading off to get June Messiah. And uh, given he is a hard horse to handle, we better let him uh, get to him pretty quickly. I do remember Scott, on after that maiden victory, he was said that he is just such hard work and remember how green he was on that occasion just rolling about the place we sort of saw the same thing again you can't miss that big white face as he was sort of rolling home there but the benefit for him today was just the pressure that was on up front he was able to be just in behind them and then Jason Whiting was free just to wheel out three wide on the corner and get him flowing which I think is key for a relatively inexperienced horse is a, a five-year-old but this was just career start number eight and a horse that has been hard work behind the scenes is express time in there for second and smart princess weighs in third 
So it was a, we, knew, we knew they were going to go quick, Scott, and that's exactly what we saw with Express Time continuing to pull the pressure, pressure on lording. I wonder if you're able to see that big parrot mouth in the photo finish too, Britt, that he's got going there. But uh, I remember that interview with Gary Crispin, and he, uh, he said to the owners, don't fall in love with this horse because I'm not sure he'll stay too long. So it's always nice to pick up races, especially when you've got some patient connections. And as you say, it must be a little bit all that more rewarding when you have one that does everything wrong and is hard work to get the cash and that's exactly what's happened today with June Messiah and Jason Whiting was even uh, even forced to pull the whip through into the left to get him to try and go straight into the home uh, in the home uh, going there we'll see if we can Jason Whiting's going to run away from us Brit so after all of that we'll finish it up we will I think they may have to weigh them inside maybe having struggled to see the uh, weight there so we can't get a word with the, the fish there but June Messiah makes it uh, a second career win in race number three here